Hello friends and welcome to another tutorial on Geeks for Geeks. In this video, we are going to understand the program which searches for a given number x iteratively in a binary tree. First, let us take an example. In this example, if we want to search for node 6, we should return true as 6 is present in this binary tree. If we search for 12, the function should return false as 12 is not present in this binary tree. Now, let us see the algorithm which will assist us in this. Let us also take a sample tree to test our algorithm. We assume that we are searching for element 9 in the given tree. So, we pass 9 into x and the root node which is 2 into pointer root. Note that we are using a queue data structure. First, we push the root node which is 2 into the queue. Since q is not null, we enter the while loop. We have another variable node to store the front element of q. So, node will point to 2. We check if current node is same as x. Since 2 is not equal to 9, we remove 2 from the queue and and queue its left and right children into the queue. First, we dequeue 2 from the queue. Now, we push the left child of 2 which is 7 into the queue. Next, we push the right child of 2 which is 5. Since queue is not empty, we continue with the while loop. Now, node will point to 7 which is the front element in the queue. We check if node is equal to x. Since 7 is not equal to 9, we dequeue 7 from the queue and enqueue its children. Now, we push the right child of 7 which is 6. Again, since queue is not empty, we loop. Now, node will point to 5. We check if node is equal to x. Since 5 is not equal to 9, we remove 5 from the queue. In the next step, we enqueue 5's child which is 9 into the queue. Again, since queue is not null, we continue with the while loop. Now, node will point to 6 which is the front element of q. We compare if 6 is equal to x. Since 6 is not equal to 9, we dequeue 6 from the queue. Now, we push the children of 6 into the queue. So, 1 and 11 is enqueued. Since q is not null, we continue with the while loop. Now, node will point to 9. We check if node's data is equal to x. Since 9 is equal to 9, the if condition is satisfied and we have found key 9 in this tree. So, we return true. Now, let us have a look at the time complexity of the program. This code will run in big O of n complexity. Here, n are the number of nodes in our tree. With this, we come to an end of this tutorial. For any doubts or suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below. Thank you for watching.